I have this on my heart tonight. Um, Luke chapter 7, verse 11 through 17. It says, Now after the day that he went into the city called Nain, and many of his disciples went with him, and a large crowd. And when he came to came near the gate of the city, behold, a dead man was being carried out, the only son of the only son of his mother, and she was a widow, and a large crowd from the city was with her. And when he and when the Lord saw her, he had compassion upon her, and said to her, Don't we do not weep. Then he came and touched the open coffin and those who carried it stood still. He said, Young man, I say to you arise. So he who so he who was dead sat up and began to speak and he presented him to his mother and the fear came upon them came upon all of them and they glorified God saying the great prophet has been risen up among us God had visited his people today and this report went about went throughout all Judea and the surrounding areas the surrounding regions in Jesus' day it was um, unfit for you to touch a coffin today we have people they're just like that young man. We have people in churches are just like that young man who was dead. The only son of his mother. People are dead. They're walking around dead. Churches are opening up and they're dead. They're dry. The, the church in America is either the church is going through the services, failing, surviving, or thriving. Failure is still in, was still in Egypt. Some churches are still in e Egypt. Some are stuck in the wilderness somewhere. Like most churches in America are stuck in the wilderness. They're stuck in the wilderness. They can't get out to run around in circles like the Hebrew children was. They run around, going, run around in circles just like the Hebrew children was for years. It's time for the church in America to come out of the wilderness and go to the promised land. Churches are getting too pretty. To PCP, they're getting too politically correct. They don't want their, they don't want, they want a five minute, they want, what's your phone out? Five minute sermon, no water call, no nothing. They want to go through life, going through the motions, not going through anything else. It's time for the people of God to come out of the wilderness and come into the promised land. People have been going through life barely making it they're failing they're not surviving they're failing people have not woken up their callings or anything it's time for people to wake up their callings wake them up what God has called you to do go out and do that that's who's what's going to save a milk we had too many preachers sitting on the pulpit 
sitting, so standing in the pulpit, preaching the gospel. There's some that are just barely making them. There's is preaching the heart down, the preaching the souls, and the struggling. There's some of them that the preacher sitting on the pulpit saying, sitting in the seat, sorry, saying, oh, I don't want to preach. Preaching is for all the people. Preaching is for all the men. Oh, nobody don't want to hear young men like me. People, it's time for America to wake up. Go forth. Wake up your calling. Wake up your calling. Wake it up. What God called you to do, go out and do it. It's time for America to wake up and stop stinking thinking. Stop playing, saying gloom, despair, and agony on me. It's time for people to wake up and stop stinking thinking. That's just what's going to save America is when we wake up and realize that God is God and let God have in control of our life. That's when we are going to see the ant to work. Ants 2 talks about the day of Pentecost. It's time for the day of Pentecost to happen in America. Time for the great revival that God has promised us to happen. That's when we're going to see God move. Hope this message be a blessing to you.